For more on this and the Mexican national team at large, pleasure to welcome into the show, fighting the wind, El Profe Juan Carlos Osorio, who actually I got uh, you. hustled over, uh, missing the last 20 minutes of Qatar against Ecuador. Don't worry. I run. You I did. run. I sprint. <laughs> you didn't miss much. Out. No, uh, <laughs> you didn't miss much. All right, so uh, let's talk about Raul. And I want to put it, uh, Profe, in the context of Karim Benzema. No, because we just saw the France superstar striker have an injury and pull himself out of the tournament, say, I'm not good enough to be here. Let me give my spot to someone else. Raul Jimenez obviously hasn't done that. At the end of the day, whose decision is that? Who is responsible? Is it the player to say, I'm not there, or is it on the coach? Uh, well, I think the, um, it's a combination there. Uh, there should be enough trust between the player and the medical department, mm -hmm. first of all. And then between the medical department and the head coach and the assistant coaches. And at some, b because the, the nature of the injury, mm -hmm. as we know, and probably Hercules went through many, well, a few, uh, when you pull a muscle, it's very difficult to say how many days it's right. going to take. But the player has to be uh, improved before he decided. Uh, but I would say, that the player has to initiate that mm. and say, I feel comfortable enough to, to, in Benzema's case, to try and see what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just it, ask him. It, it shouldn't this. be in order, but the key point here is uh, three days, three days before a game, I, my experience tells me that you have to uh, give a, a high um, incentive to the players in, and the training session should be uh, in, intense, yeah. they should be with intensity to find out exactly that, who is playing well and who, and who is at, at his best, physically speaking, and also mentally. Because once in the, in the third, you know, pr in during the game and the national anthem, you know you are there because you're fit, mentally, physically. So I would say that they have to get together and decide. And if I was the, the one in charge, obviously I would just get everybody together mm -hmm. and say, this, this is the plan. I want to see you training. But I say you training now with a rondo. Mm. I want to see you training 100% and see, and see what it's like. That's the problem as a player. Don't give me that percentage. Don't give me that hope. Mm. You know, I'm going to lie to myself. You know, the player never wants to be the one to decide. If you're a player, you go with the mentality, I can do this. Even if you're saying, ah, there's a, there's a slim chance, but there's still a chance. And that's the problem with players. you got to save them for themselves sometimes. Profe, let me ask you, we've, we've not had you on since the, the roster decision for Mexico. A mm. few big announcements, a few big decisions for Tata Martino. One of the most criticized probably is leaving Diego Linus out of this roster. Uh, First, tell me, you, how did you see that decision of leaving a player like Diego Linus out of the 26-man roster? Because most people had him first off the bench. Uh, if the idea is to, to play 4-3-3, as it appears to be, then I can rely on, on this uh, um, presentation that we did. We, two weeks ago, we analyzed the teams that played that system uh -huh. and are doing well. So we analyze Manchester City and Arsenal we, and Liverpool. And we also analyze Napoli. Mm -hmm. And one of the, uh, the common threads, the common threads, thank you, is to have a left footed playing on the right side. Okay. So Arsenal has Saka uh -huh. and he plays obviously for the English national team. Uh, Manchester City that originates that or renovates and renew that idea of playing that way with Guardiola, had Mares, mm -hmm. sometimes Bernardo Silva, Foden, Foden. and uh, Liverpool has uh, Salah, and Napoli uh, has a Politano, okay. and to be honest, that's probably the player that Irving Lozano lost his uh, starting, starting position, mm -hmm. and Napoli is doing really well playing that system and trying to play from the back. And the idea is that that particular player can either take people one-on-one, -on -one, which I think uh, Alainas can do, but also, and very important, is that he descend and the, the, the opposite team, if he plays 4-3-T as well, then he will be the fourth 
midfielder and you can create numbers up. So that impact player for you was Linus. Of course. I, I think that, uh, and, and in my humble opinion, I think he, he is the, the most um, similar player to Carlitos Vela. 1v1. In 1v1 situation, right. Yeah. And to be fair with Alvarado, I haven't seen him enough. So, but uh, I think that a line, uh, uh, um, he could be a great help for the team. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.